The power got... of Macharino. Miss everyone at Zeno. Stay safe. You too, Karmic Karkson. And we got you too. our round one and round two. Yeah. Winners. Oh yeah, we've seen we've seen these guys previously. Now they're yeah. winners quarters. Look how far they made it. Yeah. Look at them. Yo, Tonyo V with the follow. I see, I see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. All right, so the two people we just watched previously, the the DDD and the Inkling, Dave Create versus Guerrero, here to see if they can get a spot for top eight today. Yeah, I mean, pretty good progress for both of them. And I mean, Guerrero is just so dominant in their set, so it's going to be interesting to see if Dave Create's going to be able to deal with that just dominant force that Guerrero puts out. <laughs> Yeah, the Gordo play is somewhat really hard to get through if you don't know how to get through it. Yeah, it's something for sure. Oh, I thought that was about to be a kill. Oh, yeah, same. <gasps> this is a really good spot for Gordetto, too. You know a setup, like, feels good when you when you know that the person in advantage of that setup is, like, is going to get that kill if you if you think about it. Oh, like right there. Oh. That's great. It's the very, but no forward smash. Oh. Not close enough. Missing it. Mm. That's gotta hurt. Just like these Gordos are hurting too. The main thing oh. to consider. Oh, nice stock from Gordetto. The main thing to consider when fighting a heavy is like not letting get them get the lead like this, because this is definitely the hard part about fighting them. Because now that at 70, you gotta get a kill with no rage and some form of setup. And if your character has like a struggle to get a kill, then that's gonna be really bad for you. For sure, and especially because DDD is just so heavy that you're going to have to work extra hard. Guerrero was, nice oh. was a player that we've seen is able to make the most out of a lead. You know, give him an inch and he'll turn into a mile. Oof. So, it's definitely a scary spot for... Oh, combos into the Gordo for the extra damage. <laughs> Good on Guerrero to stay airborne just to avoid this roller. That backer okay. comes out, seals the deal. Very good lead for Guerrero though. Yeah, 83% already and gonna be turning that into even more so quickly. Ugh, this is, oh, so scary for Dave right now. Should I catch a jump or a button or an approach or something with these Back airs and up airs. And nairs. Almost a kill off of that nair. I swear. I see another DDD nair kill. <laughs> Why did it bounce back like that? That, was, that felt unfair. Like, it's just like, wow, really? <laughs> like, it, just, oh my God. it just stayed on the screen after hitting somebody. Crazy. Yeah. Down throw combos too. DDD. Already a full stock lead here. This is looking very difficult for Dave Crate, but not unwinnable. True, true. <gasps> oh my god. That's not good for my heart. This guy knows how to play with a lead. Guerrero up two stocks. Very good pressure here. Oh, it's 113. I, I pretend I don't see it. It's be super hard for Dave to come back on. Guerrero's covering everything. The neutral get up, the rolls. At the time, but trades with that and kills and takes to the stock. That beats it? I. We just witnessed it, I, I guess. Yeah. You can definitely stuff it before it happens, though. I've seen it happen before. Like, that move beats Buster Wolf, and it doesn't beat. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wait, Buster Wolf's like the, the one he gets from Fatal KO, right? Yeah. For Fatal, the, okay. The one where he runs at you and says, Are you okay? Yeah, I don't remember Buster Wolf having some form of invul. It's got armor on it. Uh, armor. Heavy armor. Uh, uh, it's a 8% for each individual hit. Oh, that, that does slightly more, though. Like yeah. The down tilt DDDs. Yeah. So. Oof. Yeah, Guerrero really knows how to play for leaders. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. They're definitely keeping up the, the ledge pressure. Mm -hmm. 
pressure on the stage, uh, stuffing approaches that are that, that feel wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, Not switching to Sephiroth. Okay. Dave does have a Sephiroth. Three, two, one, is this as good as his inkling, though? We'll see. Yeah. Alright, with more range, they can definitely help fighting this Gordo War from full screen, too. This that is seems true. seems to be a problem. Wow. Oh, that... <laughs> Yeah, so now angled Gordos are going to be the problem to deal with here. Yeah, because you can't even counter those. Yeah. So if you lose his war, DDD gets all this. Sledge belongs to him. He's not letting you back on. Unless that connects. Another yeah. one. Wow. Wow. Seems like getting a oh. oh. Getting a little too greedy with those approaches after the Gordos. Was too used to it working last game. Maybe. But, I mean, already a significantly better performance from Dave Create this game. So, definitely pretty good Sephiroth. This is a punish? That was a move instead. Can they shark with this up air? Oh no, choose to let him recover. Dave trying to find yet another good mistake from uh, oh. Guerrero to take the stock. Like that down tilt takes him all the way across and kills him. Yeah, that, that another... counter does so much. Oh, wow. Was waiting it out for too long and it just died for it. Yeah, so for a recovery. Somewhat passing. I mean, kind it can of make vulnerable. it. It can make it from pretty deep. They just, they just were a little, a little too scared. Which I mean, True. rightfully so. Right, both even in stocks and percentages. So he's gonna be the first one to turn this around. Ooh, the whiff and the down smash, no good, no good. You're letting him get the stage control. Now he's gonna have this ledge set up. Guerrero. We're gonna take the stock. Oh, wait. Stand oh. corrected. Oh. Wow. Okay. Guerrero's got a lead here. Oh, wh wow. The armored smash took from the wing. That was so <gasps> smart from Dave Create. That was genius. Oh, is that gonna be. Okay. Reach him. Dave just drifts along. Rolls past that that setup. Strong as it is, there there are some gaps that you can notice and slip right through DDD once they grab you. That back throw's not taking it. Wow. Okay. Uh, Sephiroth, this is light too. Yeah. Same way as Pikachu, which always <laughs> confuses me. <laughs> that man is buff. How is he? He how is he'd be hitting the gym. Pikachu? Clearly not enough if he's as light as Pikachu. He'd be hitting the gym, but only be drinking protein. So <laughs> definitely not stocking. Oh, well, not drinking protein. Like definitely just not eating enough. Yeah. Could I? Whenever I hear Sephiroth, I'm reminded of. Uh, you ever saw Inuyasha? Yes. Same voice as Naraku. Oh really? Yeah. I that. Yeah. I'm actually just watching it with a friend, and I'm like, oh my god, that's distracting. <laughs> Acorn Smash, thank you for the follow. Good one, let's step away from taking this. Oh. Gets hit by the Octo Slash. Turn that Octo Slash around again in that situation, that might kill. Goes for the Armor Smash, gets hit by the trip. Mm. Good punish there from Goretto. Definitely have to wait out that counter, though, for a little bit, because it still has that active move after it yeah. whips. It's got a very weird timing to it, because, like, you could possibly... Oh! <gasps> wow! It killed him? Oh! It is Sephiroth. <laughs> you definitely do be burning crops in your family. So look at him. Solid stuff from Dave Create there, taking that second game. Yeah. By the skin of their teeth, too. So just look at this. <laughs> they were trying to... They were trying to eat it, but... 
they weren't expecting they that. Were super <laughs> high <laughs> off that jump. It yeah, was like up there, like that was a free uh, ledge anti-air right there. Good ledge cover. It's the answer to the ledge for Sephiroth when they can throw it out in time. <laughs> the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Top 80 character at least for Isabel. <laughs> Top 80. <laughs> I counted after the Meet the Pirate announcement. It's like 82 characters now. Uh, 83 because... Uh, or no, 84 because it's... um, Because there were 80 after the first fighter pass. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Pretty interesting stuff. This game has like, a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah. Or are they gonna see them all? Or we're just gonna see like a selection. Well, wow, runs right up in there and down throws and goes in. Guerrero wants to take the set as fast as possible. Wow. Already Whoa. a great start. An aggressive, explosive start right there. Oh, that shield! Woo! Oh, misses the snap. They wanted the setup, but they. Dave is down by like a little bit more now. One good swing from the mallet's gonna just clobber him off the stage. Oh they have the wing out, they can definitely bring something to the table here. Ooh, okay, shield's still low. Yeah, those down smashes are so scary. That shield damage. Oof. Yeah, Guerrero gonna be fishing for a jump in from Dave, see if he can catch him. They do have multi jumps here. Oh, he's caught. <gasps> oh no, but choosing violence on the way down. Guerrero takes the first stock. <laughs> oh yeah, do your do your best punish on this with down smash right there. All right. That definitely needs to happen. You Ultimate definitely deserve that 30%. Ultimate doesn't have the thing for more damage if you charge, right? You know what I mean? The like if you hit them while charging. Uh I believe it happens with uh some characters. Hmm. Not sure if I remember. Oh, missed timing mm. it barely. It's so hard to time offline. I mean, online. <laughs> offline, that's probably going to be a bit easier to work with. But mm -hmm. I mean, right now, it was off to a fantastic start for this game. A stock lead and... Oh, ooh, how does it kill? What? That was at like... 130 and like very close to the blast zone. I Understandable. It's DDD, he's heavy, but like. I think there was also a key note that he was DIing well there. So avoid getting killed. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. So that's not good. Oh, wow. He oh, chooses to sacrifice the stock there. Was it worth it? I mean, only a stock away. So, we're only going to be seeing that wing once this game, from now on. And that's right now. So, if they kill, there's a chance that that wing goes away. So, oh! Or Ooh. the stock, stock just goes away instead. Corretto now making top eight today. Good stuff to them. Yeah, that was fantastic. We start right off the, the bat with the aggressiveness. Putting mm -hmm. the pressure on Dave creates so like, all right. I may be slow. I may be slow, but like, you gotta watch out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Remember, we're at forty-seven dollars and fifty cents for that prize pool. So, truth, truth. You could get the fifty tonight if you guys continue to use the coupon codes. Yeah, you yeah, gotta no, meet that free. goal. Free money. Yeah. actually free it's actually crazy you, yeah it's so it's easy i could do it yes. i i already did do it yeah mr booty eater you, did it come on <laughs> you know the crazy thing about that free money is to me is the fact that you could enter these tournaments and win it yourself mm -hmm. as well so you just yeah. throw more money in a hole that doesn't come from you mm -hmm. and yeah. you can take some of that back we have two yeah. Macharinos up right now. There's one for tonight, and then there's also one for the monthly coming up, which is sitting at a tentative March 13th. 
Mm, March 13th. I ain't got nothing to do that day. So definitely uh, do both Matrinos. The exclamation point Matrino in the chat will take you. T will live. Will give you both links. So definitely click them both. So basically, you're giving a whole dollar for free. Just like 50 yeah. cents for one and 50 cents for the other. Go, go, go. How do they make that money in the first place? No like, idea, but that's not our problem. Sponsors. 